He's dead. He's dead. Another one. Simply no reason for them to have died here. And another one. And that's the mystery. Why are they dying? If you look at a specimen like this, he has ample body weight. No reason for him to have died. So why did he die? Case in point on the frogs. This is what I've seen all along the beach. This frog looks like he should be alive, but he's not. There's no reason for that. He's literally three feet from the water line. This is just wrong. Why would a small frog like this die? Only feet from the water. Only a few feet from the water. Fried. Nothing's hurt him. He's not physically harmed. And they're all over the shore like this. Certainly there's no food here for them. But they still have enough fat stored in their tails, their bodies. They shouldn't be dying like this. You can see he still has a partial tail on. More carnage. Another bullfrog, not physically harmed in any way. Still not thin, plenty of restored fat reserves. Should have been fine, fried. Only a few feet from the water. And another. Polywog. Another. 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 They're everywhere. Another specimen, only a few feet away on the beach. And you can see the water so close, but yet he just fried on the beach. There's hundreds of them fried like this, and I've never seen anything like this before. It's extremely concerning. And my other pond further into the forest, where there were many dozens of juvenile bullfrogs, are now gone. In fact, I only saw two there when I check today. And here we get a good look at what intervening with nature does. This sort of apocalyptic looking scene of this rapidly draining reservoir, which has been completely transformed from what it looked like before this area was dammed. This was a lush river bar, the Pitt River Arm, that certainly held dense foliage. Now again, it looks like some kind of nuclear holocaust zone. Not much lives here. The water is now superheating because the intense UV radiation, hotter day and nighttime temperatures, much hotter, much hotter than is being reported, making it extremely difficult for aquatic life, for insect life, and for the amphibians that live here in this section. And now over the course of two weeks, they're all dying. In fact, they're crawling up on the shore, only feet from water, and frying in the sun. What's causing that? Why would that occur? The UV is incredibly intense. It's off the charts. And what's that doing to these amphibians? Why would that cause them to just only feet from water to fry on the shore? And this is how fast they're frying. In one section of beach alone right here, with the soil still wet, we see there's dead frogs everywhere. One. Two three, four, five, six. This is a tiny, tiny section of beach and we see that many in one small section. Over the last two days I've been here to try to rescue along the shore as many as I can because they will die here, period. They, they are normally not in this region. It's far too hot. There's no shade. There's no food. I'm not sure why they're here. It was an incredibly uplifting experience for me to first see them here at night when I was here alone in the middle of the night some weeks ago. I was incredibly uplifted. But now that harbinger of hope has turned into a desperate effort to rescue what I can of these frogs, which I will try to do now. And for me, 
no matter how insane the world has become, if I can make any difference to this small part of the web of life, that matters to me.